Hello appraisers, this video is for those of you using Sparklight and in this video we're going to be going over the sales selection process that Sparklight goes through. Uh, so first thing I want to show you is right up here at the top of the grid you can see it has all the comps labeled and all of these are clickable. So I can click on comp 1 and it's going to bring up all the transfers that Spark has for that property and it'll show you with the green checkbox the one that Spark chose as the recent transfer. Now what Spark does is it looks for a recent transfer, it looks to make sure that there is an actual sale price, and it also verifies that the buyer and seller are not the same person or entity. And if that all happens to be the case, then it chooses that as the sale. So if I want to change that though, let's say you don't like what Spark chose, then you simply click on whichever one you want to put into the grid, and that's all there is to it. When you're all set, you hit done and then your grid will update with all the correct information and also your prior transfer history is going to update as well. Now you see these over here, um, they don't show a sale date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Comp 5 and see there is no recent sale and that's why Spark did not choose anything to be a sale for that property. But let's say I wanted to use this sale from 2009. All I do is click on that, hit Done. And then you can see that that information all updated here and of course the prior transfer history information as well. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is that you can customize what Spark defines as a recent sale. So as I told you, uh, Spark is going to use 12 months as the default. So any sale within 12 months of your effective date, Spark is going to consider that to be a recent transfer. Now you can customize that by simply clicking over here on current sale and it's the only field on the screen so easy enough. You just get rid of that and put in whatever you want to use. You can like 24 months, 6, whatever you decide. You hit save changes, then take me back and Spark will update your grid based on that information. Alright, thanks for watching.